Eric Cantor, he's Republican from Virginia. Leader Cantor, welcome back to the Cutler Report. Okay, you heard our own John Harwood sort of confirming at least my biggest concerns. A confrontational speech, a tax the writ speech, a Buffett rule speech. What's your early reaction? Well, my reaction to that is I think the American people are really looking for some results here. And I think for now three years they have seen the economic policies of this president and his administration uh, in play. And frankly, Larry, they haven't worked. Uh, uh, and I think it's time for us, when you, when you know something hasn't worked, it's time for us to start something new. And that's the kind of thing that we're going to be talking about, wanting to work with the president, which is setting forth bold ideas about, about how we can grow this economy. And we, we know that the growth comes from small business startups and to get people back to work. And there are policies that we've got through tax reform, uh, through regulatory reform, uh, that we can actually set our goals high as far as growing this economy. Let me ask you, look, speaking as a free market supply side capitalist, I'm very disappointed that Mr. Obama is going to take this tack. We'll hear the specifics in a little while. But I want to ask you what some of his supporters are saying and Wall Street is saying, that the economy may actually be improving, that the growth rate may be as much as 3 percent, unemployment is coming down, and we are creating 150 to 200,000 jobs. Your reaction to that modest growth improvement? Well, Larry, you've said so yourself uh, in all your writings uh, and your speeches that we shouldn't be accepting uh, of this kind of uh, of this kind of growth we ought to aim higher we ought to be growing at five percent we ought to set a goal at that and as you rightfully point out uh, the Reagan uh, years uh, after having suffered a deep recession what we saw during that period in this country was three to four hundred thousand new jobs created not a hundred and fifty thousand new jobs created we've got to start growing this economy again and be serious about it. And you'll see a focus out of House Republicans that say, look, we know that small business job creation is the name of the game, and we've got to create an environment for that to happen through getting rid of regulations that are hemming in small business, through providing some tax relief and reform that'll get people investing again. Can you bring a tax reform bill, at minimum a corporate tax reform bill, on the floor of the House and vote it? Um, yeah, we certainly can. I mean, the, the idea would be we want to deliver results here. Uh, we're going to set forth a bold vision uh, of what we believe uh, this country needs to take us forward, to continue to grow, to be aspirational for everyone to benefit. Uh, and I, again, I think you'll see some differences, and the president obviously is going to go down the route. Uh, can of I just pick up aspirational? <clears throat> you mean rewarding success rather than it's, penalizing it, is that going to be a key theme for yourself, the, for your own network? Absolutely, because we believe in the grand American promise, Larry. If you work hard, you play by the rules, you ought to be able to get ahead. And you ought not have Washington here uh, saying who should get ahead and who shouldn't. I mean, that's the problem with our tax code. You know that. It's hemming in growth. When the Washington begins to be the allocator of capital, when we assume that somehow the White House and its uh, minions can decide where to play venture capital first of all it's not their money mm. uh, you know and so we've got to get back to basics here and understand where America can grow and it, that's through small business look last year during the early summer when the debt ceiling talks were disappointing the stock market sold off big time I think 500 points on the president's own birthday later in the year when the super committee came out disappointing the stock market sold off to people investing not just on Wall Street but around the whole country Eric Cantor let me ask you is there any room at all for common ground with the White House on a Simpson Bowles like large scale spending reduction tax reform deal? Is there any common ground left at all, or is it just election year politics? Larry, I think that where we actually can shoot to, to accomplish some results is if we go for some incremental progress mm -hmm. here. I mean, we tried all last year to accomplish the big deal, uh, and unfortunately, the two sides are very far apart. On both both entitlement reform, which we know is a necessity if you want to save the fiscal health of the country and grow, uh, as well as tax policy. Because as you know, the president has always insisted. Will you bring a budget? Will you uh, bring absolutely. a, a we'll, Paul Ryan budget? We, we will, you bring will put one? forward, right. Uh, Chairman Ryan is working on with his committee on another budget uh, that is going to once again be the only document out right. there that provides a plan to try and fix the fiscal situation and grow the economy. Right, so you're going to chart your own best course? Uh, yes, because 
I think what the American people need is to is to see some type of solution that will have a chance at working because they've seen the policies of the Obama administration in place for three years and they haven't worked. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much, Majority Leader Eric Cantor, House member from Virginia.